Hello, great to see you again. We just wanted to give you another update. Steve, do you want to join me? Today it is Tuesday the 28th, I think it is. Yes, it is. Nearly May. Of April. It's nearly, nearly May. Nearly May already. And the rain has come back today. Oh. Not so great. But it is great to just connect with you again, just to update yep. you on a few things. As normal, tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll be open for food bank donations. Yep. Um, and any donations for some vulnerable families that we're helping to support at this time. Thank you again, 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 many, many times for all your donations that are still coming in. They, we're really appreciative. Yeah. Food Bank are really appreciative. Families, individuals are so thankful that we can support in that way. Another request we have had come in from a family here at Riverside is their tumble dryer's broken. Oh no, and Not it's raining. Great. Now the rain started. If anyone knows of a tumble dryer going that needs to be rehomed <laughs> um, or one that's a decent price, please give us a shout here at the church, give us a ring um, or drop us an email. Yeah. That would be great and we can connect that together. That would be awesome. It's great, great that we can still help people, it is. even from a distance. I was just wondering, what time is church open for Food Bank List? Oh, what time is it open? It's open from 9am till 12 noon. What was that? 9am till 12 noon. Till 12 noon, okay. So please come and bring your donations then. That'd yeah. be great. Thank you. Um, don't forget, we had a link that went out yesterday. It was our first Mystery Monday meeting. Uh, thank you for the feedback we've had on that. Uh, it's been great just to speak to uh, yeah. some people from church and interview them about what's happening. I'm recording next week's one this afternoon, so I'm really excited. That will, of course, come out next Monday, Monday. obviously. <laughs> um, but also, don't forget, we do have uh, Zoom appointments. Please check your email. You can still book into this week's appointments. And then on Thursday, we will send out the appointments for next week. It'd be great to connect with you. Yeah, it's been so good just having that chance to chat. Yeah. Get to know people. The things we've learned about people in Riverside right. is incredible. So we'd really encourage you join in on that. As we say, there's some more, one more tomorrow. Um, yep. So drop us an email if you want to join in on that one. That would be great. And then also, there's going to be a few bits of communication coming out from us this week by email so please read your emails yes please. those are emails to people that are part of Riverside where we've got your email address so if you're not getting our emails it means we haven't got your email address so if you give us a shout um, and then we can add that yeah. onto the list yes um, so some of the emails we've got coming out one thing that we really want to push your way if you're a married couple or you're an engaged couple um, and you're joining in listening part of Riverside we're going to be sending out um, a link to you for something care for the family are doing which is called the marriage session looks brilliant looks really good normally it's a course you pay for and attend they are putting this on free of charge there's four sessions over May, one a week that goes live online. You can tune in whenever you want to, um, sit down with your other half, or if you're self-distancing in different in different homes, you could perhaps tune in at the same time. Yeah. Um, so it looks great stuff, so we'll be forwarding that to you this week. Yep. And then also we've updated our website with some stuff on giving, there's some new information on there. So we'll be popping you an email out just to update you on that as well. That's right. And we don't want to just keep you updated with what's going on at Riverside, but Wire Forest Youth for Christ, they're holding a prayer for revival uh, on Friday night at seven o'clock. Uh, Barry, our youth leader, who is director also of Wire Forest Youth for Christ, is inviting you all to that. Yeah. So we'll send you out another email about that this week to invite you all to take part in it. And speaking of prayer, don't forget we have our prayer gathering yes. online, YouTube and Facebook. It's live, it's 7 p.m. And tomorrow we're doing communion together as well. So please, when you tune in tomorrow, 7 p.m., make sure you've got a bit of squash, a bit of juice uh, and some bread or something as we look to take communion yeah, that's together be great. too. It is. And just something encouraging. Uh, I'm not reading Mark anymore. I'm reading... Psalms. I am. I'm in the Psalms at the moment. And Psalm 48, I was reading this morning. And Psalm 48, verse 14 says, For this God is our God forever and ever, and he will be our guide even to the end. I love the fact it says even to the end. That means always. He's our guide always. 
But the thing that struck me this morning, a guide is only as useful as you engage with it. Yeah. If you go to a town with a tour guide, what's the point in keeping it in your bag? You won't know where to go. Yeah. If you have a guide on how to do something and you don't consult it, you have to figure out yourself and how many times do we get it wrong? God is our guide always. Right. But that means we need to keep engaging with him mm -hmm. and he will lead us and he will guide us through this time. But we have to keep engaging with God. So tune into the prayer gathering, turn up yeah. and engage with God. And I want to encourage you where you are, keep engaging with him too. And he will lead us through this. Yeah, awesome. What a great encouragement to take us into today. Or if you're listening to this later on today for you for the rest of the day or the rest of this week. So we just want to encourage you, keep connecting with each other, keep connecting with us um, and just stay safe. Wash your hands. Know we love you and miss you all and we'll see you soon.